Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. I hope you are having a wonderful day. And I'm back with a new video, and this is about how I study this book, which is the Holy Bible. The best book you can ever read. So, and tips and encouragement around that. So, if you enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you fancy and i just pray that this video blesses you and encourages you and that you are able to study the word of god in more depth and gain more knowledge and more understanding from his word and that you just soak that into your life and live in the truth that he lavishes upon his children let's go so the first thing i do before i start or at least i try to my number one tip is to pray pray that god will give you understanding of his word and pray that the holy spirit will minister to you um it's an excellent way to start reading because you're just putting god first where he should always be in your life he should be first and asking him ultimately to give you that understanding so i'll pray like God, I pray as I read your word now that you give me understanding, that you just speak to me through your Holy Spirit. Um, just don't lean on your strength and understanding because it comes from God. So yeah, I have an ESV Bible, which is the English standardised version. Find a, like a Bible translation that works for you, but um, my recommendation is the ESV because it is a good translation it's not one of those that is like a thought for thought but it's more of a translation but obviously find what works for you and then switch around um and what i like about this journaling bible is that it has margins at the side so that allows you to well it allows me to be a bit more intentional with the time i'm spending reading the word i can write down notes that um stick out to me and just truth about God's word and highlight them and it'll be good to come back to later and, rem and be reminded of how God spoke to me then and if God's speaking to me a different um, different way now so that is um, my Bible um, and along with my Bible I also use a Bible commentary so I use the Enduring Word commentary which is by David Guzik and I really, really enjoy that, and it really helps me to become more knowledgeable in what I'm reading. It goes in depth. These are people who have studied the Bible for years. They probably went to Bible school, and they're really giving you a good contextual knowledge of the Bible, so you can have that more in-depth study and understand it better. So I wrote down some pros and some cons um on my notebook so this is completely up to you whether you choose to use a bible commentary but i would really recommend it so in terms of pros um it can allow you to have a more in-depth study so for example the book of leviticus is a book that i really struggled with um just to show you how it's really really helped me and obviously this doesn't matter just having colourful notes on your Bible. But having those Bible commentaries has given me understanding of the different feasts, for example, the different laws, why they were um, made. And it helps me to have that more in-depth study so I understand it more. And you get knowledge of context. So again, it's just digging that bit deeper so you can understand more. However, you just need to be careful. In terms of cons, you don't want it to be passive so you're just taking the information that they give you. You want to still lean on the understanding of the Holy Spirit and God, that God will speak to you through these passages as well. So just be careful that you're not just taking their information, but you're also listening and staying in tune with God, what God has to say. What I then next like to do is if I, I try to focus on what I'm reading, but if I go onto Instagram, for example, I have a Instagram page called blessed underscore by the word where I post encouragement and truth about God's word and what God's sharing with me for likewise females um, and males if you want to join but 
being on that page has put me in a community of people who love God and who love sharing the word of God and who are evangelizing to others as well through the use of social media. So I'll click onto my Blessed by the Word page and then I'll be scrolling through Instagram and I'm getting this constant truth of God and you're seeing these stories and you're seeing these um, feed posts and encouragement and Bible verses and just God's truth and it is amazing. There's no like negativity and it's just you're surrounded in God's word and God's community and God's people and people who love God and it's amazing. I definitely recommend following some more people who um, resonate with you, who love God, who follow God and who show peace that, uh, showcase that, sorry, because um, it will really encourage you on social media when sometimes it can be a bit dark. Um, so yeah, that's what I'll do. I'll scroll, th scroll through that and I'll see some encouragement and then I'll realign and go back to the Bible. So that really, really helps me as well. So definitely go and do that. And if you want to follow blessed underscore by the word, then feel free to, because I do this to encourage uh, people in with the love I have for God with others and share that. So that is really the meaning behind that. So next I will grab some highlighters at the moment I'm using these ones by Stabilo and I really like using pastel colours because so I've got this pastel green blue purple and pink I had a ton of markers from Asda which I constantly got compliments on um, so I use those as well but at the moment I'm using these ones and I'll go through and highlight um, anything so for example I got this from the Bible commentary. So in Numbers 31 verse 20 it says, You shall purify every garment, every article of skin, all works of goat's hair and every article of wood. So I highlighted that verse right there. As you can see, I'm really sorry if it's not in focus. So I highlighted that verse and then I'll draw an arrow to what I want to say. So I wrote... This is the same with the things of this world, which I got from the commentary. Music, media, etc. for the gospel. Some things cannot be cleansed and must be done away with, and some things can be cleansed and used for God's, God's glory. So, we need to purify ourselves with the things of this world that um, can bring us down. So, for example, um, it could be some films that you should be watching or music that you shouldn't be listening to but things that can be used to glorify God these same things music media can be used to glorify God so separate yourself from the things that can't be and whilst at the same time you can kind of it's not like it's a complete Thing, you should separate yourself from music and media but those that aren't glorifying God purify yourselves from don't be anywhere near them but the ones that are glorifying God that's what you should have if that makes sense I hope that makes sense I don't know if that makes sense but yeah um, so at the moment I'm reading the book of Judges so I've just started um, chapter 1 and 2 I'm a couple of days behind on my Bible plan but that's the same method I'm using to go through so hopefully I will be able to have included some cutaways, um, just I'm testing my movie out a bit more because I found that you can do split screens and stuff like that which I didn't know so that's changed my world a little bit but I just wanted to share finally some useful resources that I use that really encourage me in my faith. So for example in terms of my resources I always use the Bible Project Oh my god, I speak. I always use the Bible Project before I watch a um, before I start a story. So they have these animations of all the all the books of the Bible, and they really help me understand what's going on as I'm reading. So, for example, the Book of Numbers, how it was split up um, into the different sections. They'll take sections and talk about them each and illustrate them and that really helped me so as I was going through the book I could understand and I could recall what I had watched so that was really helpful and in t as well as that my bible has um introductions so 
I can read those as well before I start the book that will give me a bit of context as well the Bible in 30 minutes is a podcast which um, I listen to as well which goes through the books of the Bible in 30 minutes and helped me gain a good understanding of what I was going to be reading um, Views from the Porch is a podcast from a church in America who I really enjoy their um, podcast it helped it's for students like my age students in 20s I guess and it's really encouraging and just teach me God's Word and making sure that it's sound you know um, as well as that I've got two more the Bible app is great because you can have loads of Bible plans and just like there's tons of Bible plans on the app and yeah it's just really really encouraging and you have the bible in your hand and on your smartphone um desiring god the youtube channel by john piper i believe i hope i've got that right i'll put the name on the screen if i've got it wrong he's really good um as well and he really encourages me in my faith he's a guy who's been pursuing god for years and just teaches people and answers questions that people have so that's really good and really helpful for me in terms of Instagram pages that I follow that are encouraging for me on blessed underscore by the word I'm um, going to list their names Faithful Honeybee, Yeshua Cornerstone at Yay Project at Kath Avi or Kat Avi at Faithful and Food by Christina at Tory Faith Blog and at Radiating underscore Jesus I really like those pages um, I like a lot of pages but those are just a few that came to my mind um, give them a follow if you fancy um, if you want to be encouraged in your faith and finally I just wanted to talk about some of the Bible plans on my Bible app that I've completed or I'm currently doing that have really really encouraged me these are the ones that stood out and just were amazing for me and I'd love if you could read them and let me know if they help you as well so they are letting love in how god crushes your inner critic by lindsay sidner grace and the gospel i did that with my friend felix and that is by the grace school of theology and that was really nice because doing plans with your friends as well allows you to keep each other accountable and it was just nice to just encourage each other which was really nice Jude Contending for Faith in Today's Culture which is by Jackie Hill Perry I loved that one Do You See This Woman? Oh my favourite that was amazing by Lainey Travis and Seven Prayers for Ferocious Warriors by Cora Jakes Coleman and at the moment I am currently doing that one I'm doing a couple and I'm doing a Bible in a year plan with my friend Pascal and that's amazing that you have like two or three chapters from the Old Testament and one chapter or a couple of verses from the New Testament and we're going through that each day encouraging each other building each other up and yeah so that's how I study the Bible and also to know if I find that there's any verses that I love I'll stick them on the front of my Bible to encourage me so for example from Numbers 31 23 everything that can stand the fire you shall pass through the fire and it shall be clean nevertheless it shall also be purified with the water for impurity and whatever cannot stand the fire you shall pass through the water that was like a really encouraging picture of refinery and us going through fires of life I don't really like relating things a lot to us but that really came to mind and my favorite Bible verse now to him who is able to keep you from stumbling and to present you blameless before the presence of his glory of great joy, Jude 1, 24. Um, yeah, so do these Bible plans. For example, with Jude, I'd never read the book before and I got so much out of it. I'm just going to show you quickly. It really helped me understand, like... I get so much more out of the re reading the Bible now than I ever did. I really struggled with reading the Bible. I didn't enjoy it. I found it boring. I found it tedious. And I asked God for forgiveness for the way I felt. Because when you are proactive and put more effort in, you'll see the fruit of your labour. It's so encouraging. And God's word is for you. God's word is alive and active. 
and it's will always be relevant it will always be relevant so yeah embrace it embrace his word i also use this book which is god thoughts god thoughts um and i write down anything that i feel like god is speaking to me that i don't write in my bible um and i write the date so yeah i use that as well along with reading my bible so there's plenty to do yeah be proactive don't be passive i really hope you enjoyed that video if you did do let me know i really really hope it encouraged you and i'll try and insert like split screens and stuff to just reference what i'm talking about but yeah hope you enjoyed it and have a wonderful day have a blessed week and i'll see you lovely lot next time